we're going to take a look at some standing FRC hip cars. You'll need something solid to hold on to. So in this instance, I'm just going to hold a broomstick. You could have a stick, you could hold a doorway. If you're in the gym, hold on to a squat rack. Um, I'm also going to hold a tennis ball in the other hand. So this is just going to create tension in the arms and help you create tension in the upper body. You want to focus on simply the hip joint moving as much as we can and try to keep everything else as fixed as we possibly can. So in this position, I'm going to move to one leg. Hand comes out to the side. Keeping this tension, I want to take the hip into flexion. So I'm lifting the knee towards the chest as much as I can. From here, we'll start to abduct the hip and take the hip to the side, so open the door. And then I want to take the hip into internal rotation. I'm trying to lift the heel towards the ceiling there. Take the hip back around behind into extension without arching the lower back. And then I bring the knees back together. Now we're going to reverse that circle. So hip goes into extension, don't arch the lower back. We go into abduction here, we're trying to lift the ankle and the knee at the same time. We externally rotate the hip, keeping the knee nice and high. Heel comes underneath the knee, come back into the flexion in front, and then we take the foot back down. That would be one circle or one cast. We're going to switch now, just so you can see it from the side point. So still staying on the same leg, with another rep, so this position balancing on the leg. Hip into flexion. Abduction, open the door, taking as far as we can to the side, keeping the tension. Internal rotation, lifting the ankle up. Back around behind, taking the hip into extension, try not to arch the lower back. Bring the knees back together. Reverse the action, hip extension. Abduction. External rotation. Back to flexion in front, and back down, okay? We want to try to work the biggest circle we can, but at the same time, like I said, we're trying to isolate the hip. There's no point in lifting the knee up really high and bringing it into this position if you have to twist the whole body to start to get the rotation. So if I'm limited there, I might only lift the knee this high and try to work the rotation to be a little bit lower. But at least this way, I'm going to be a little bit smoother in the movement pattern. So again, try to find that range that works for you. Nice and slow, keeping your balance, using some support to draw the biggest hip circle that you can in the standing hip cars.